Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to the men. Toasters, go ahead and hit the like button as you come in. It's free. Now, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Now, today we're going to talk about something very touchy, uh, something that's talked about a lot, that's questioned a lot, uh, especially over, over social media. And that is, does a woman's body count matter? Meaning, does the number of bed partners she's had matter? Short answer, yes. Yes, it does. But uh, let's dive into it. Now, the short answer, yes. Reason being from an ego perspective. Most men, and I would say probably 98% of men, do not want to be with a woman who is a known thought, right? Or a known former thought. Most men can't handle it from an ego perspective. Now, reason being is the most important thing to a man is respect, right? And so he can handle it, I think, if it's not known. But if his family knows, his community knows, his boys know, I don't know if he can really deal with it. Now, I have seen it, it, it happen. But uh, when they got into an argument, that brother brought up her past, you know, and, and mainly he, he was he brought up his her past and it bothered him because the community knew he wasn't respected. They knew people were mumbling, gossiping behind his back, you know, talking about who he, he he's with now. They knew the history of this woman. He couldn't really handle it from an ego uh, perspective. And so anytime they would clash, he would bring that up, you know, but that was his choice. Right. So I don't think most men can handle it when it's known throughout the community that she was a former or, you know, recovering thought. I, I don't I don't think he can handle it. So it matters with that. But deeper than that, it matters because I'm a brother who believes in womb imprint, meaning whoever we, we we've been with, whoever a woman has been with, has imprinted her, her psyche, imprinted her spirit, left her mark. I, I really do believe that, brothers. And so. The more men a woman has been with, there's going to be more imprints on her psyche. And I don't care if condoms are used. I don't care if a diaphragm is used. They're going to leave their mark on her psyche, on her spirit, on her mind. That's just a fact of the matter, man. Now, I know uh, scientists and doctors say, you know, uh, sperm only lasts in the body, you know, in a woman's body uh, between five to seven days. But I'm telling you. Her her being with the man, that imprint, that spiritual imprint will last with her for a lifetime. So you got to take that in consideration. When she's had a lot of partners, you're not just getting with her. You're getting with her and all those imprints that are left behind. So any, any of those men had issues, trauma in their lives, they've imprinted her and you're taking all that on. So it really matters uh, in, in that regard. Now, it also matters because newness, you want newness. You want to be able to experience something new with your woman. Now, she's had a lot of quests, uh, a lot of situations. I mean, what what can you guys experience that's new? You know, it's like, damn, she's been there, done that. So you can't experience anything. And, and that's not a good thing, brother. You want to you wanna experience something new together inside the bedroom, you know, that you both are down with. Piggybacking off of that, <clears throat> you know, a woman with many partners can have or is likely to have a higher number of bad experiences. So she may be turned off by something and may not want to experience something new that's new to you together because of her bad experience in the past, you know, uh, Maybe, you know, it, it went wrong, but whatever that is, it went wrong and she doesn't want to experience that again. She doesn't want to go uh, through that again or, or through the act again because she had a bad experience with that. Yeah. And, and so that can happen, man. So that's very likely to be the case with the woman who had who has had many partners. Right. Uh, man, I, I've. I've come across women who have had very few partners, maybe two partners. 
But with those two partners, man, there's a lot of drama, you know, a lot of drama. Those brothers, those two brothers uh, had a lot of childhood trauma and were very abusive, uh, misused drugs, abused drugs, uh, were physical, physically abusive. And so they brought that into her life. You know, man, she got with one brother. He was drama. He left his imprint. A couple of years later, she gets with the same type of brother. He leaves his imprint, but she hasn't had many lovers. Right. And so that brings me to my next point. Body count does matter. It does for the reasons I gave. But to me, for me, what matters more than body count is the type of men she's dated, the type of men she slept with. That was was going to matter most because the fact of the matter is you're probably not going to get an accurate number uh, on how many brothers she slept with. She's not going to tell you the truth. And, and I understand why, because, you know, a lot of times that can come back to the Hunter woman because uh, they're not celebrated about their, their quest. And most times men are celebrated about how many women we knock down. And that's to our detriment a lot of times, too. But I understand, you know, a woman wanting to keep her honor and not really revealing the true number of uh, lovers she's had. I'm not saying it's right, but I get it. And so you're not going to know the true number. And even in a woman's mind, she doesn't count every lover. She ain't counting all her one night stands. Nah. And if it was uh, a two month relationship and, and, and the sex was horrible, she, sometimes she ain't counting that either. That's just how her mind works, you know. But so you'll never know the true number, brothers. So <laughs> you probably don't want to really focus on the number too much. You want to focus on the type of men she's dated. You know what I'm saying? And, and on the flip side, brothers, womb imprint affects you too. The number of women you slept with, right? The type of women you slept with, that affects you too. Of course, you don't have a womb in the sense of the stomach, but you have a womb up here. That mind, that mind takes in information, the seed. That mind incubates information. That mind pours out, spews out information, delivers information. So that's a womb. So you do have a womb in that sense. So you got to be careful about uh, not having too many partners also and be uh, uh, aware, be cognizant of the type of women you're getting with because that can affect, affect you too and imprint your spirit also. So it's just not one way, you know, it, it goes both ways. But I pose the question, does a woman's body count matter? Because that's what we, you know, we, we raise a lot of times. That's the question that's raised most times you know, a woman's body count. But I would say, like I said, focus on the type of man, brothers. Focus on the type of man. I got a question I want to leave you with. You got two women. Well, it's a question scenario. You got two women. Woman number one, she's had, we'll say a high number. We, we'll say she's had a, a hundred lovers. A hundred lovers. A hundred confirmed lovers. Now, all these lovers she's had, you would consider high standing, high caliber, high value men. Yeah, go getters. No, no real trauma in their life. Uh, no, no traumatic childhood. Stand up guys. You respect these hundred guys because you know. Let's say you know them personally. You respect all of them, right? A hundred guys. Now, got woman number two. She's only had three guys. But with those three guys, man, they're, hey man, traumatic childhood, traumatic childhood, toxic behavior, uh, liars, thieves, you know, you got a murderer, got all that in there, abuse, you got all that in there. These three guys, she's only had three guys. Which woman would you choose to live your life with? And you had, you had to pick one. Which one would you choose? Hey, as always, from me to you, love, peace. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. 
We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.